Now there's a place that's blessed. Now there's a place that's blessed. Where we find happiness. Hello, it's Thursday, 15 September 2016, and this is Empowerment for Today, the devotional. My name is Esther, and I am your host for today. Malachi chapter 1, from verse 6 to 8, the NASB version says, A son honors his father, and a servant his master. Then if I am a father, where is my honor? And if I am a master, where is my respect? But you say, how have we despised your name? You are presenting defiled food upon my altar. Why not offer it to your governor? Would he be pleased with you? Our topic for today is, how much? The true worth of someone we claim to love is displayed in our disposition to them. And many of us claim to love God as our Heavenly Father, but do not give Him our very best. The priests in our text couldn't understand why God was upset with them. From their point of view, they had done everything right, making regular sacrifices and fulfilling the law's requirements. But in the sight of God, they had fallen short. In fact, they had despised His name. They had forgotten the principles in the law and they regularly sacrificed defective animals instead of honoring God. They kept the best for themselves. Now, this must have surprised them like it does many today. They feel that they give to God all the time, but the reason was simple. They had not given God their best. And what God sees as Mr. A's best is different from what Mr. B's best is. Just like Jesus said about the widow's might, it's between you and God. He knows the resources he has released into your hand and knows what your best ought to be. Though they wouldn't dare treat their political leaders with such disrespect, they felt fine about showing disrespect for God Almighty. As a result, they were cheating and offending him. God wants us to give him our best in everything we do. When we are at work, or at home, in our church or community, with friends or neighbors. Our tithes and offerings should have value to us and not be our crumbs or leftovers. We should spend quality time in prayer and Bible study, not just a few minutes when it might be convenient. Remember that God is looking at your heart. Make Him your highest priority. Give Him your best in everything you do. Let's take our confession together. I make up my mind today to give you my best, dear Lord. I pray that my life will bring you honor and glory. You deserve it all. Hallelujah. Victor Hugo said, and I quote, There are people who observe the rules of honor as we observe the stars from a distance. You can follow us on Twitter at Kingdom Africa TV and also like us on Facebook, Kingdom Africa TV, and also comment on how these devotionals are being a blessing to you. If you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior and would like to accept Him into your life, please say this prayer with me. Father, I know that I've broken your laws and my sins have separated me from you. I'm truly sorry and now I want to turn away from my past sinful life toward you. Please forgive me and help me avoid sinning again. I believe that your son, Jesus Christ, died for my sins, was resurrected from the dead, is alive. And here's my prayer. I invite Jesus to become the Lord of my life. To rule and reign in my heart from this day forward. Please send your Holy Spirit to help me obey you. And to do your will for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you have said this prayer from your heart, congratulations. Please email us at devotions at kingdomafrica.tv. We would like to know you better and help you grow in your new faith.